welcome to episode 3 of RPG Maker XP Tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about how to edit tile sets. Alright, so in your game, go to Database, and you have a bunch of tabs up here. Make sure you're on Tile Sets. Here, um, under Tile Sets, you have all your tile sets listed and their names. Obviously, you can edit their name up here. They have tile set graphics. You shouldn't probably mess with those unless you import your own. You can export, you know, edit it, and then import it again and, and make your own by changing the maximum increasing it from 50 to whatever or decreasing it auto tile graphics these are basically like the first um, three six eight the first eight tiles up here I guess they're the first eight anyways you can choose those are like the only customizable ones um, you have a panorama graphic Okay, what that is, is if there's blank space, for example, this tile here on your game map, this graphic will appear there and fill it. Okay, we have sky, uh, starlit sky, cloudy mountains, oceans, r really nice stuff. Um, fog graphic, that's like the fog that goes over the game. Normally, it is transparent by decreasing its opacity. You can zoom in. Uh, SX and, X and SY are the speed at which fog scrolls on whatever axis it is. SX is the y X axis. SY is obviously the Y axis. Even value scrolls right, odd value scroll left. Pretty much self explanatory. You can change the hue here. Uh, press OK if you want it, etc., etc. Battle back graphic. Okay, that's when a monster or you come in contact with an enemy and, or a troop and. You go to a battle scene. Okay, this is the battle back that'll go with it. You can change that. Various types of battle backs go with different types of tile sets. Uh, now let's go over here to passage, passage for direction, priority, bush flag, ca counter flag, terrain, tag. Passage basically tells the you know the game what tiles are. You know what the player can go through, what the player can't go through the lake, the player cannot go through the stump, the player cannot go through the uh, stump of the tree, I guess the stump of the tree, <laughs> I guess you would say, you can't go through. Uh, passage for direction is a little more detailed than that. Uh, in some cases, you can go through them, but only partially. Let's see an example here. Uh, okay, here. You can't go left, but you can go up, down, and right, etc., etc., Priority, basically the height. The tallest part of the tree is five, and then four, three, two, and one would actually be like the tops of fences and stuff like that. Threes always go under four, four is always go under five, etc., etc. Bush flag. This, this um, tells what tiles are like bushes. It sets like the lower half above the player's feet, acting like bushes. That that only work, really works here with the bushes. That's already set. I wouldn't mess with that. Uh, counter flag and terrain tag, you don't really have to mess with. Just don't touch those and you'll be fine. I don't really use those at all. So that's um, editing tile sets. Hope you guys learned a lot.